What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode, we not only finish up with our Hawaiian vacation, but we finish up with season three. Aww. This is the Motorhome Experiment. It is 3 a.m. We're here at the airport in Honolulu, switching islands. We're heading over to the big island, so stay tuned. Okay, a little pro tip for everybody. Honolulu Airport doesn't even open till four, so not much reason to get here prior to that to jump on a flight. Got here at 3.30, have to wait half an hour just for the airport to open. But we are through security, heading over to the aircraft, and heading to the Big Island for our first time, which is cool. We have arrived here on the Big Island. Actually, come down stairs from the airplane. It's still dark out. The sun is starting to come up though, so sunrise soon. We don't see too many sunrises. Yeah, we used to. Well, and here's on the other side of the island, so there is not really such thing as the wrong sunrise. Yeah, that is true. Right all the gates at this airport are all completely outdoors. It's crazy. This is a tiny airport. It is a very it's tiny beautiful. airport. Very cool. How's your view at breakfast? Uh, yeah, it's breathtaking. I don't know what to say. I mean, you can beat this. Having breakfast right here next to the ocean. As you can see, we didn't do much that very first day. No, we pretty much rented the car, sunny, drove into the hotel, sunny, and then check in, pouring rain. You start pouring on us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so breakfast was about the only thing we got that day. But the next day literally started off, for the lack of a better term, shitty. I don't like to use that word, but you're gonna watch. Good morning, we're over here on the big island and it's our first morning in our cool new, what is this? This I guess is a... It's a condo. It's a condo. So we got it through um, Airbnb or something like that. So I want to show you this really cool place. Check this out. Pretty nice, right? What I do want you to do is just ignore the sewage on the floor leading out to the front and the, the sewage going down into the hallway, into the bathroom. It's a lovely way to start our morning. The room itself is really gorgeous, but the uh, sewage running through the apartment, that's not a good amenity, really. It's nice having a pool in your apartment, just I would prefer it's not a sewage pool. Because this happened first thing in the morning and we need to have showers to go out today, it's gonna be interesting. I, I will say the view from here is pretty spectacular. We knew the Big Island had been experiencing some lava flow over the year. We just didn't realize that we were going to experience sewage flow in our very own condo. It was so disgusting. It was like, luckily there was like a hole where we didn't have to walk where the thing was happening. It, it sucked. <laughs> no. Now we're moving into our other room and uh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> you got to get out. Come on, out you get. Out can't come in here. Then we left and went out to explore the island. First we hit a lava tube which was really really cool. Yeah something that we have always seen like everywhere about the big island. Well we heard there was supposed to be some lava tubes out here so we pull over on the side of the road and it's literally right here on the side of the road. We're not supposed to go in it but I don't see any harm on going up to it. Yeah, you can see where chunks have fallen down and I think that's why they don't want you going in there. But you can also see where there's light coming out the other side. So I think we'll go walk up over top and see if we can see light down and through there. Yeah, seeing that this is collapsed doesn't make me uh, confident up here. This is one of those crazy places that's just hard to describe. Like, 
you really feel like you're on another planet. Other than the fact that there's an airport right there. It is crazy how light this stuff is. Now, if this was a, a regular rock, I'd have a really hard time picking it up. But it's, it's actually fairly light. I would say that thing is about maybe 40 pounds. So compared to a regular rock, this stuff is super, super light. Pretty amazing. Then we checked out the Hilton Waikoloa Resort. Beautiful place. Touristy though. Part of our adventure today is checking out some of the other resorts on the island, so we're now at the Hilton Waikoloa. crazy we're just getting ready to have lunch and now there's a bunch of dolphins out here We wound up doing lunch here at the Hilton. Got to see some dolphins, which was kind of cool. Kind of cool, kind of sad. They're in a kind of a small pen. But this is an impressive property. Time to roll up the road and see what else we can find. And I will say, don't support the whole swimming with dolphins pen. It's like they just keep them in a pen. Not cool. Then after the Hilton Waikolo Resort, we headed up to the north side of the island, which is really cool. You mm -hmm. could see across to the volcano on Maui, which was really neat. And we stopped by the little town of Javi and saw the statue, the original statue, I think, actually, mm -hmm. of the King Kamehameha, number one. And then uh, we just headed back into town after that. Mm -hmm. It was original, but it was restored. So that's why it looks very nice. I think that's the only thing the town does, is like they just take care of that statue. jogging traffic that is in the little town we're in. What is the name of that little town? Uh, Kailua Kona. Kailua Kona. And so yes, with the Iron Man activities going on over there, traffic and restaurants and everything has been a nightmare. But today we're getting away from all that and going to have some fun. So There's looking forward to it. There's a lot of super fit people there, by the way. A lot of super fit people make us feel bad when we're eating our pancakes. <laughs> After a beautiful drive across the middle of the big island, we wound up in Hilo and stopped off at Paradise Helicopters for an absolutely stunning doors off 
flight over the Hawaiian Volcanoes National Park. It was awesome. It was beautiful. It's one of those things that, I mean, you see on TV and we just, it's a bucket list for us. So yeah. we just wanted to do. F absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it's a lot of footage, but I just have to show it because it was an absolutely stunning experience. Just super cool. Did I say stunning already? Probably. Many times, right. but we hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Yeah. All right, Lori, are you ready for this? I am. I'm cool. excited about it. Awesome. Me too. volcano flyover our plan was to explore some more of the west side of the island around Hilo pretty hard to top the helicopter thing I think <laughs> but we are gonna check out some more of the big island some of the botanical gardens and waterfalls and hiking and stuff so well it's not about topping it's just about doing different stuff exactly yeah because there is no topping now that was just it's phenomenal. Pretty, I mean, how you top Whew. flying on top of a volcano. With no doors on the helicopter. Yeah. It's just awesome. <laughs> it same looks idea. like everybody's had the same idea about Rainbow Falls. <laughs> everybody's here.
Okay, Lorena, we are now at Akaka Falls and Hakuna Falls, as in Hakuna Matata. I don't think it comes from there. I think that's where they came from. You yeah. just described this as what? That's a lush environment. No, that's not what you described it as. I said jungly. Jungly. <laughs> Very jungle-like. Jungly. So. I want you guys to look up that word jungly. I think it's just new, probably hasn't been added to the dictionary yet. It's in the Lorena dictionary. It's, an, it's a Lorena-ism. Yes, but it is very jungly. <laughs> very lush, let's come along. Okay, every now and then you run across one of those crazy things in nature. This is really one of them. This is called the Oopu Alamo'o. This thing actually swims two and a half miles upstream from the ocean and then climbs 442 feet up that waterfall. That's pretty crazy. It does that because it has a little suction disc on its chest. So it uses its pectoral fins and the suction disc to climb up the rocks all the way up to the top of that waterfall. That is pretty nuts. They lay eggs up there. The babies come down, go out to the ocean. They get a signal, they come back up. These guys make the salmon look like wussies. Another crazy fact about this waterfall here, it's 442 feet from top to bottom. The Niagara Falls waterfall is 176 feet. So this is over twice the size of Niagara Falls. Not quite as wide, obviously, but much, much taller. Very, very cool. Still not the tallest waterfall in the world by far. I think the tallest is uh, Angel Falls in Venezuela. It's over 3,200 feet because I've wanted to base jump off of there, but they don't allow me to do that. One major hike that we had set up for the day was over on the Hilo side, but it absolutely poured. We did, however, get back to uh, Kailua Kona for an amazing sunset and dinner and wound up being a pretty nice day. Yeah, I mean, it's like any Hawaiian island, right? You have your side that is like less rain and the side that drains all the time. So we were on the side that where it drains all the time. So it was expected. Mm -hmm. Bummer though. So we've seen a couple of cool waterfalls and now we're gonna head over to the Waiapio Valley and go for a hike. <laughs> Why? You don't think it's... It seems the weather has come up with a different plan for us. So there will be no hiking this afternoon. And we were told that this Waiapio Valley was why a P.O. Valley was supposed to be spectacular. It's going to be amazing, but it's not going to happen. So but, we're going to go to Waimea. Hopefully yeah. there's no rain there and we'll have some lunch. Check that out and then we'll go back over to the dry side of the island and see if that's going to happen. But yeah. It's been an interesting uh, stay here on the big island to say the least. Lorena, one of our favorite spots on Maui is the Barefoot Bar because we get to sit with our toes in the sand. So what about on the rocks here? Thanks to the Hamptons, actually, we found another spot like that. Yeah, check this out, guys. Isn't this awesome? Toes in the sand. It's called On the Rocks, and we're here in Kailua Kona. So two thumbs up and look at the view. If they you can't can see, see the view because of the sun, but there's okay. a cruise ship out there and the town. 
awesome. It is our last day here on the Big Island, so we decided to do a little impromptu snorkeling. <laughs> no, you're good, dude. Wave. <laughs> Getting our snorkel gear here. Holy smokes, we're gonna have to hustle. This beach is hot. Ouch! Oh, oh man. Okay, that sand, that black sand is hot as hell. Super hot. All right, so time to get our snorkel on. That was pretty fantastic. We couldn't leave Hawaii without snorkeling. And although we were going to pay for a tour, it's like this was actually pretty amazing. Yeah, this is Kahalu, Kahalu, Kahalu Beach. <laughs> something like Kahalu, that. Kahalu Bay. Kahalu Bay. And it was awesome, as you guys saw in the video just now. It was just amazing. so many cool fish. They even had the state fish, which is the Nuku Nuku. Humu humu oh humu humu nuku nuku apu a a. That's a crazy one, and I'll put that up here. I'm it's just, really close. I'm just humu that, humu nuku nuku apu a a. I'm just shocked that he has actually memorized it. Yeah, that's the state fish of Hawaii. They, they don't allow you to leave unless you memorize it. <laughs> I haven't memorized it, so I'm not gonna. Sorry, leave I guess like you're gonna that. have to stay. Jeez. Yeah, I know that's gonna break your heart. <laughs> we are. Now all the way down at the far south end of the Big Island. And we're at a place where there's a black sand beach. Pretty crazy looking. Very cool. Are there people surf uh, surfing? Mm-hmm. That last wave was a bit bigger than I thought, but it's a cool shot. After the Black Sand Beach, we decided to make one last stop before calling it, it quits, and we headed out into an area called South Point. It was absolutely spectacular. I don't know if it comes out on video or not, but we caught a triple rainbow on video and it was spectacular and it was a great end to our Hawaiian vacation and a mm -hmm. great end to the video I think. I mean it was amazing just to walk on the black, black beach and the triple rainbow the third one is extremely hard to see I mean two you can really see them very well but the third one even I have a hard time seeing it back then. So you're saying I was delusional? No you actually had to point it out and describe it and then it's like oh I see the colors so maybe it was placebo effect. She's saying I'm delusional. No, maybe it's contagious. <laughs> I saw it too. <laughs>
All right, Lori. At one point, we were in Key West and we stood next to a post that said it's the southernmost point in the United States. But that's not quite true. It is not true. And how do we know? It's because we were standing in the most southern part of the United States right now. Yes, the, the sign in Key West is continental United States. The point that we are at right now on the Big Island of, of Hawaii is the most southern point in the entire United States, albeit this is out on the islands. Check this place out. Holy oh, smoke. Giant waves the crashing on the huge. beach and nothing for as far as the eye can see. I would think over in that area is the French Polynesian Islands. And then over in this area here somewhere is like maybe New Zealandish, and well, then like Japan and stuff. I have no idea. I'm not a geography expert yeah. by any means, but just FYI, yeah, we're in the French Polynesian Islands right now. So we are we are in the French Polynesian yeah. Islands. No, we're not. We're in Hawaii. Yeah. Part of the French Polynesian Islands. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> How can that be possible? The French Polynesian Islands aren't the U.S. Are they? All these islands are part of it. All right, I'm going to I'm have to look that up. I'm calling, one, I'm calling one. your bluff on that one. Okay, I'm going to be right. But anyways, <laughs> southernmost point in the United I States. I know, we're so. in the most northern part of the United States, and now we're in the most southern part Exactly, of the exactly, all within a few weeks of each other from the north to the south. So absolutely spectacular area. But this is where we're going to call our Hawaiian vacation. This is where we're going to call this video. So... If it's your first time here, it would be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video. And we will catch you guys when we're back in the mainland. Bye guys. Bye now. Spectacular. Look at the size of those waves over there. Holy crap, Lori, right here, look. Lori at one point we were in Key West Florida and we went by what they said was the most southern point in the entire United States but it's not true but it's not true <laughs> we are now that's I guess mainland US that would be true yes but the reason we know it's not true is because we're actually standing on the southernmost point in the continental US right now no this is it not is the a, continental US damn it I got it wrong <laughs> take two <laughs>